Well, it's only me. We don't want to wake everyone up, do we? You look as though you could do with some sleep yourself. I'm all right. What have you got there? Oh, I've been doing a little investigation. A piece of silver paper? What is it? I don't know. What's happened? Oh, it's nothing. It's probably just a change over in the time cycle. What do you mean? Oh, well, you see, <clears throat> it's rather interesting, really. You see, on the moon, they have a fortnight of days and a fortnight of nights. Well? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? They have to make their own day and night artificially up here. Or it should upset their whole biological time clock. Their what? They wouldn't know whether they were coming or going. Get it? Yes. Clever girl. QED, that's why it's dark up here. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes, of course. How stupid of me. Of course, along at the control centre, it's probably broad daylight. Polly, you wouldn't be making fun of me, would you? <laughs> no. going to do? What do you mean by the silver hand? I'd better report this to Mr. Hobson. Can't find him, Ralph. Well, I was helping him load some stores and he just disappeared. What, in this place? Well, there are only 19 of us. Have you tried his quarters? Yes. Yeah. Why didn't you report this to me? Well, I'm just telling you now, aren't I? No, I wouldn't have done it. Sorry, it's Dr. Evans. Well? I'm afraid he's dead. Dead? No. This must be reported at once. Yes, yes. But, uh, no. No, we haven't got enough data yet. You know what they're like down there. I'll come to the sick bay with you. Come on. Here. <coughs> Gently, Jamie. There. Your nerves are getting the better of you. Where's Evan's body? Over there. All right, let's get it over. Is this someone's idea of a particularly bad joke? This is no joke, believe me. Mr. Hobson, Mr. Hobson, you are wanted. Another man's collapsed at the controls. The graviton has swung off alignment again. Come on. And you'd better find that doctor's body or out you all go, quarantine or no quarantine. I don't understand what could have happened. I must have dozed off or something. One thing I am sure of, something went out of that door just as you came in. That body can't just have vanished. Polly, I'm going to leave you alone. Now, just for a minute. All right. Water. Oh, water. I'll go and get you some. Oh, water. It's you. 
Piper! 